the air panel which follow the air powered uh, pin burn remover. Let us first connect it to your uh, in-house compressed air. And that is happened at this point as you see the red dots. Remember, it must be absolutely dry air without any water. Consumption is 210 liter a minute and we are requesting as minimum 6 bar. And now when you like to start your pin bar remover, you just simply uh, turn it on with this on off uh, valve. As you can see now. And at delivery we have a basic uh, setting of the pressure of 4.5 bar. We will now explain what you can do with that pressure. For example, if we have a, a fillet, uh, in this case say salmon, four days after uh, killing, four and a half uh, bar is a correct uh, setting. But if we have, say, the most difficult one, say 20 hours after the killing point, you have to go down to about two, two and a half bar. And I tell you why. We make the pinwheel weak by purpose, so if uh, it's very difficult to remove the bones, the pinwheel will slow down because we have made it by purpose weak instead of breaking the bones. And if you have the opposite way, long time after killing, like say four days, you can go for four and a half. If you have five days after killing, you can use like six bars without breaking the bones. So that is the pressure. And now we will explain to you how to set the speed of the pinwheel. And again, at delivery, um, you have turned it on and nothing happened. And what you have to do now is to adjust the speed of the pinwheel, which are at delivery set to zero. If you look at uh, the pinwheel now in the center uh, down on the picture, you see the pinwheel. In this case, it's the perforated one. In general, fast speed uh, is for small fillet or long time after killing. Slow speed is an important one in general for big fillet and in case of short time after killing. And before we start operating with the unit, we have to check the oil lubrication. The correct setting is two drops a minute. And if you look here, when we close it up, here you can see the drop. And two drops a minute is a perfect lubrication. If that is not correct, you can uh, increase number of drops or decrease the number of drops. Now you can see one drop leaving the unit. So two of these drops a minute is the perfect one. And now we like to show you uh, how to fill up with new oil. And also, important one, please check the oil level every day. And remember, you must use um, a USDA a vegetable oil. And now we will show you how to fill up uh, oil in the can. You just click it off by turn it. And then again you're using a USDA approved vegetable oil. You have to calculate this can is for about one day production. So you have to fill it up every day. So that's it. Okay, now we will explain to you uh, how the return uh, air uh, is from uh, the unit itself, the pin burn remover, the handpiece. And that is uh, the, the thicker blue one, and it goes into the speed control uh, handle and then to the uh, outgoing, the exit air filter. This exit air filter has to be ex replaced according to our instruction in the user manual have a closer look to the handpiece. Here we have the pinwheel. This is uh, the perforated one, which are mainly used for trout and if you get marks on the surface of the fillet. Here we have, in this case, the water plug, uh, where you connect the water supply. This is what we call a bone guide supporter. And here inside or below is the bone guide. We will now show you how to assemble the water line and then we will disassemble the unit. Now we will show you again how to just loosen the nut 
and pull it straight out. A water adapter by two Allen key screws. The vacuum is mainly used uh, with removing the pin bones from smoked salmon. I mean, vacuum adapter with its two Allen key screw. This is the ribbit pinwheel, which is the, the ribbit one, which is generally used for more or less all kind of application, as long as you don't destroy the surface of the fillet. And then tightening up the screw again. And the support guide. The support guide is uh, protecting uh, the fillet against the pinwheel so we don't have unnecessary damage on the surface, but it's also protecting uh, the pinwheel itself. Okay, these two screws are holding up everything and you lock it. And now we just uh, push assembling the vacuum tube, which is uh, done without any tools. And now we will show you how to remove the pin bones. With this toothstick, I like to illustrate what is the direction of the pin bones. This is the direction. If you look at this white line here, that shows you the direction. So if we now remove the pin bones in the same direction as located in the fillet, no marks. But look now, if we now do it the wrong way, we remove it that way or that way, look what happened. You tear up the fillet. So again, this is the correct direction of the pin bone. Remove it in the same direction as you see now and as you can see on this white line here. Now, now we have the unit. So that means we have to place the unit in that angle so we remove the bones. The way to operate is you have the bone guide, that pl flat surface here has to be on the fillet surface. And you move it until you feel the bone and with your thumb, you stop it. Stop, 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 etc. And now we will show you with the pinwheel moving. And as you can see, this is the right side of the fillet. The left side fillet has to be located on the table uh, at another angle. Look now, here we touch the fillet and we Feel the burn and stop. 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 Stop again. Stop. On the head side, you have to lift up the fillet in this way and then remove the bones. Click. And it's gone. So it's easy. It takes about six to seven seconds each fillet. This is the right side fillet. And again, this is the direction of the pin bones. This is the real direction. Take it out, same direction as located, and you have no damage. And remember, that white line here, it shows you the correct direction of the pin bone. Do not ever try to remove it on the other direction. You see, you tear the meat immediately. And again, from the head side, same as the uh, left side fillet, the right side fillet, uh, you lift up and you take out the bones this way. Bang, bang. Then you start again, uh, removing the bones. If it's very uh, difficult to remove the bones and you tear the meat, even with a perfect pinwheel, 
start from the tail side, like here, bang, bang, stop, 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 etc. And you see no marks. But it's very important to use the unit the correct way. And here you see the pin bone. 